Okay, welcome back. This is Morocco PDX. You got Tony and his brother Daniel. This is episode three. Yeah. Hello. Episode two had no audio. Sorry about that. Um, so, uh, not sure what we talked about. Uh, we had smoke barrel whiskey. Yes. Yeah. Delicious. We are currently drinking what? Russell's. Russell's tenure. Tenure, yeah. Straight bourbon. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, continue the pain. So uh, I attempted for an hour to beat Mildred and or uh, what, whatever their name is. And it was painful and I failed. Got close a couple times, but uh, kind of thinking might need to go actually collect souls and, and uh, get actually spend them yeah. and maybe upgrade my sword. I think you should patch probably. Oh, good, good point. I think you should go back to kind of the beginning area and head south. I do it here, right? Uh, nope. Actually, you can just press the touchpad. And then you want to maybe back out. Yeah, no. So the area you're covering over right now is where you were playing before. But I think you should go see where the road kind of naturally goes south. You should make your way there, so you should go to the checkpoint there that's along that road. And then you can, with, I think, X on the controller, you can put waypoints. I put a few waypoints along that road and just, you know, give yourself beacons to head. You can see these in the world. Yeah, about there, maybe something. I think you do, like, four or five total. And, uh, you know, it's, go into the fog, you know, it'll take you down to there's another... I feel like it's a good place to go. If you go east, it's, uh, ooh, it's a little hectic. Okay. Right. South south is a little easier to sink your teeth into. And of course, you got torrent. Uh, you can choose to traverse quicker with the, uh, the horse. Uh, nope. Trying to do it. Yeah. Uh, and then... Oh, hello. Oh, oh. That's the D-pad. And then I had it on. Okay. Yeah, the beacons are nice. They're nice and tall. Cool. All right. So. Oh, nice little. little stop. Oh, I got all three of them. <laughs> the bigger sword there. Oh. This guy. Let me help you. <laughs> no mercy. You can actually pick things up from the place to you right over it and press down the Oh, yeah. We, uh, did discover that. Mm -hmm. Woo! Hello. These guys. Oop, I missed. Woo. You know, randomly, this has got me thinking about the uh, early prototype stuff for um, Horizon. They had uh, photos of them with Aloy on like a horse running through a, a really big open world. And even though what they ended up making was pretty cool, um, you always kind of left to wonder what could have been. I mean, Aloy does ride on some creatures to some extent, so it's still in there a little bit. But. 
these guys were big. There's again there's gonna be a weapon for that part. If people are brave enough to try to mangle it. But uh, pretty much everybody's aggro. We got a wide variety of Whoa. aggressors there. And again, yeah, I mean there's plenty of stuff to explore, you don't have to get caught up in it. That thing does have some power. The uh, auto lock it really is super force kind of part three. Really nice. <laughs> Getting out of there. Ooh. If you press L1, you can swing on the left side of the horse. Oh. And then there is a charged attack with L2, but it takes a long time to wind it up, typically timing it is pretty tricky. So you kill this horse, you yeah. There you go. Get wrecked, sir. Beast lizard. Mmm. Nice. Hey. Okay. Well, that's good times. So the Erd tree is the main tree, but there's a handful of smaller trees. Got him eventually. Uh, sorry. Bird tree. Yeah, and... I notice there's a big golden tree back there, but it's not quite as big as the first golden tree that you when you first walked out into the open world. Like if you look north. Is that tree up there? No, look more to the southeast. Or, yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. If you look up that way, it kind of blends in with the horizon right now. But there's a big golden tree up there. Yeah. A big creepy squirrel. Uh, but that's oh. the Erd tree. Oh. But those, those are like mini. I thought Erd that was trees. the Erd tree and then, you yeah. know, nah, that nah, is the nah. Erd tree. Right, right, right. 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 Okay. <laughs> Got that's it. That's a mini Erd tree. There's a few of those speckled out across the open world. Nice. You'll see that. Okay. There's only one main Erd tree. Oh my god, it's moving. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what am I doing? Well, you're heading south. And, I mean, you I to kind of leave it Well, this is just for you to experiment with some speed and find some stuff. So. I wasn't planning on directing you too far unless there is a speed. Unless you're going to take my bottom. Shit. Like if you head back oh, up God. this hill, if you die, there is a statue of Marika. America. 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 Yeah. Uh, head up this hill that's behind you. Yeah, the way you're close to the your right. So while well, those creepy things are pointed at, that kind of saucer-shaped thing in the ground, and there is a challenger there that you can fight. It's an NPC challenger. Fight. Oh, yeah, okay. And then continue to maybe on this road to your right, because that's the way you came, the direction you're heading, but if you cut to the right and continue further south, see what's down the road more. I mean, honestly, you can discover... This is back to the road. Yeah, this is maybe uncharted territory. 
be painful to turn in the south or if you want to see new stuff. What a little booster? Mm -hmm. Only on your horse. So if you're on your horse and you jump up, that'll send you up high. And you can, yeah, you can guide yourself. You can kind of direct to the direction that you fly. Because you want to see what's on the bottom of those clips. Gotta do it from the center. Mm. It's pretty forgiving. Like when you jump in, it, you can do it for oh, 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 oh. It's very fun. You got some sorcery. Which, at this current moment, you might not care too much, but once you level up and you get to a certain level, you can probably do a little of everything. Plus, you can um, reallocate your stats up to like 16 times, I think, per playthrough. You go into new game mode, do it another 16 times, reallocate your stats. So. If you do get tired of any specific character build, you should sure. change it up. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I mean, 
there's really nothing specific you're doing down here other than exploring. You're doing that very successfully. I mean, there's definitely more stuff further south. I mean, if you can explore more south, there's definitely a lot more stuff to do down here. Alright, more south. Let's just give it more south. At the end of that road, heading south, you'll find plenty of other people there. Interesting how different it is traversing the world on horses in some kind of game. Sir, don't think so. Really ought to lock people in it, so it's so much easier to fight them back. Nice guy. Yeah, right. That's a helmet. Got a helmet. Got some downloads off of somebody too. Yeah. We've got probably Oops. a good part of their set. But I mean, their armor set looks freaking cool. It's probably better than what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I think if you played that one deprived class mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. you'd be like rocking the shit out of that. Gotcha. You picked the night. The bag of bag of I went easy mode. Yeah. I'd probably be rocking this on mode. There's probably more than half of the game. Stone sword. Right now. Okay. Can I operate this thing? I think you can, actually. No, maybe you can't. Okay, I got it. Some jump boxes. Side of grace over there. So this is kind of a tunnel that takes you to the other half. You're about to get to the southern end. It's a small place. It's not, there's a handful of things to do here, but it's not nearly as big as you just can find it. Contains a tiny mouth. Oh, a very It's a free, free room. I just farm skulls for you. Yeah, you could. It would, wouldn't get you much, but you could. <laughs> you should sit at the side of Grace and refill the room. It will respawn with enemies, I'm afraid, but you can just always run past them. But you're in your life, but you're actually going to get that. Uh -huh. 
could theoretically level up. Level up! So you got enough for maybe two levels. And bigger is, you know, you can you can sample these things. You can press to the right and see what it does to your stats. And you don't have to confirm it. So you can just add one or two to bigger and see how it buffs your stats. And press right. To directly it adds to your hit point pool, which is huge for a character like yourself, a physical character. For me, I'd be bumping vigor, endurance, and probably strength and or dexterity would be the main things I would hyper focus on, especially early in the game. Mind, of course, is a magic thing. Uh, intelligence, arcane, base, you know, those are all it'd be mag magic or base build, you know, meaning that. It is kind of nice that you can see exactly what's getting involved. So you don't have to commit to it until you're ready. But for me, having more hit points and endurance is huge, and then obviously bumping your strength will give you a little bit of a damage bonus, but it mostly will unlock better weapons, of course, you know, that you find later on that have higher strength requirements. That's really where it goes. And again, uh, maybe a third of the way through the game, you have the ability to reallocate your. Okay, so if you end up hating your character, then you can... so this you found Bach the seamster, and he he gives you a sewing needle. You can alter the garments. Mostly, the altering is taking the cape off or running the cape. You do get your damage or your defense slightly nerfed when you take the cape off. It's, it's just ever so slightly. And yeah, it's like cape really adds a lot of defense. Oh, hi. Hey, no, I talked to the lady. <laughs> I don't steal my mm. treasure. Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My She's name a, is Arena. I was the near out of the <laughs> To the south, the yeah. servants there have rebelled. I, I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. He said secreted you or secreted you? I think he said secreted. That is I mean the same thing. Gross way to say he made her leave. Or was it like a secret? Well, I mean, you can be you can be secreted, which is a weird way of saying that you got snuck somewhere. But that probably makes more sense. Than like it sounds exactly like secreted, yeah, yeah, which is castle. very much like you got squeezed out of an anus, like a castle butt. Yeah, um, that's a big gross looking dude. Yeah, you mean? Well, he's one of the dudes that drags the things. Yeah, you fought him before. But you did it, they're much easier to fight on horseback because you can just run, hit them, and keep running. But, I mean, you also don't necessarily have to fight them. You, know, you can just... You're not, like, trapped there. The road goes through. But, you know, if all things must die and you want XP, you probably fairly get source of a decent chunk of XP. There's also some... Little guys. Those are the tiny ones. Smithing stones are there. They're both pretty good. They're 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 pret
it's good. Yeah, I have no idea how to use the one on the sword. Oh, you just hold down Well, no, but I, like, it, I don't understand what it does. Well, it just, it, it kind of looks like he's prepared to, like, do a parry or something, but... You can always go into your item menu and read the stuff after the word. Read stuff? You can change it to the merc. What the heck? Buy or no selling. What do you buy? What's my uh, oh, four six and seven? I could buy some smithing stones. Yeah. I don't know if that's small. Mm. You have a few you have one of the big one and you have four of the small ones. You can also get more later. Um, He's selling the kind of armor you have. Mm -hmm. What's that sort of... Oh, bastard plate? I wonder if that does more than anything there. Probably pretty concurrent. Concurrent about here. Should I be doing any of this? I mean, it's entirely... If you see anything that starts to fancy, you also can come back and visit him anytime there's a site of grace next to him, so you can literally pass him the roof. That's the... I think if the stones case can go to the smith and upgrade the sword, but uh, yeah. he also only has one of the big one, and he has only three of the other ones. So I mean, if you really need him in a pinch, you can come back and buy him. Yeah. But he has a limited, uh, and I think that's through the entire playthrough until you want the new game plus. Uh, you'll find that ball baron, bell baron, and you'll be able to find a good stash back at the uh, pub. Get the bell baron. Alright. Oscar is discovered. <laughs> Yippee. Go down. Where the church is right here. There's a wise dog. It's a strange looking dog. Smack it. Notice how it's the same color as like the tower in the book. Seek the three wise beasts. Stupid. So there's two more of those wild beasts in close by. That's all one of friggin' moves. Oh, usually, 
I just assume they're all good jokes. You should read the messages. Uh, <laughs> Especially when they're near something weird like a puzzle. Uh, okay, that one's helpful. You should look it up. Maybe I'm remembering. Down that lake. Heard of the phone. Genius. So is this like uh, some kind of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference? What? The turtles? You mean the weird looking dog? Yes. <laughs> the weird looking dogs. There's one turtle left, but I, I will tell you this tower is just a magic item. Go head ahead. I will say... Remember that airstream that you rode up to get up there? Mm -hmm. If you use your horse to jump down that airstream, you can land softly. And it might be worth doing, if you look to your left, if you do that airstream one more time, you can land on top of this thing. Remember, there's some kind of item up there. But you can only get to it with your horse by riding the airstream up and landing down from the airstream. So you need to get on your horse and go down. See, that's the tip of the hill. You gotta jump down and inside of it for a soft one to make. Perfectly executed. So now you wanna come, yeah, exactly. The tower is opposite of you right now. You just gotta go straight, jump up, and try to come inside of it. So you're right. You got it. You got it. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, turtle up there, though. Dude, turtle show up. You're just a shield. It's a, oh! It's a dog back. <laughs> Open my names, man. <laughs> Alright. The show? The show? Alright. So that's about the main thing I remember being up here is probably I can send you south. I need my third turtle. Oh yeah, well I think it's still closer to the tower. I think you need to go to the tower. I would just closely look around. They're, the puzzles for the tower are usually extremely close to the tower itself. Uh, I have this over. You have to just read all the messages. I 
I don't remember exactly what it was. We might be close to that. That's what makes me weird. For some reason, I thought it was on the wall of the town. You were in that clearing, that spot of trees right there. On the, this ballpark. Looks high and low. Oh, it's for the next side of the tower. Oh, that might be one right there. I ain't going for that. What's up? Just glow like Diablo. Yeah. My inner light. Great. Did it before dust. Memory Stone is a bloodline to store spells, so we need to unlock another spell slot, basically. Okay. Right. So you'll find more of these scattered about the world and have similar puzzles. I don't know if they all have Memory Stones in them, but a handful of them They might have different magic abilities. Like a quick slide? Right. Yes, yeah, circle. Old circle. I might ride the airstream back down. Thank you. Stuff up here. Got your dog back. Shield. Whoa! Oh, that was. <laughs> you did visit the site of Grace. It also is fun, so I don't know. It looks fun. Yeah. Okay. Just stare down. right there is important. That's a map of the area.
Those evil lamb. Are you on fire? Just dump the lore. Should I? Am I just supposed to attack all the dogs? upgrade it would be gold next to it so okay. looks like you have just enough for a level but vigor endurance those are really good those would be the main thing if you get more hit points more stats more stats more stats more stats What do I need to do to put my hands back on? What I should be focusing on. Mm. Oh, we have to look at the next time you level up. Either that or you'll find items. Okay, sure. Okay. Is that just grass? Yeah. There are also roads and spiders, so they should not put that. I don't know what they're horrible people. Who do you say that? They're like little vicious looking guys. Are you with demi humans about what I think? Oh, they got me. Yeah, they lured you into thinking they were falling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, Fire. 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 Your throwing knife and your thing was really good to lure into you. 
if I use that tactic all the time. Putting your pants on? No, good. I don't remember if you were. I mean, probably that's pretty. Yeah, I took it off. So. It's uh, making me slow roll. Sure. I mean, depending on your playing style, some people do slow roll. Deal with it. I think it being able to talk about it. I do not. Taking it slightly less. in the big bucks. Sort of upgrade. Upgrade. Wait till upgrade comes out. Mm hmm. This is that's a good one. Uh, yeah. Doesn't doesn't look fun. Try to I think some S O D is here. Do you want to play? Do you want to play? Yeah, let's play it. Oh, I rolled. That's not what I'd like to see at all. What about you? You want to play? Oh, I got me. Oh. Mm -hmm. You should go to your inventory. Mm -hmm. Start that. Let's go down to actual inventory. Let's go. Okay, so you got five of the little guys. We're going to do much to. The two slightly bigger ones you got down there, towards the bottom, do give you, I think, like 300 rings. Sorry, the spears. Those are multiple ones. I would only use those if you're going to like the hug and spend them. Well, I 
I just spent, so I don't really have to go back, right? Like, yeah, you cover. Don't have to go. I was just seeing if you had enough to upgrade your sword. Yeah, let's go figure that out. Okay, do with these freaking dogs. Well, they want to upgrade your sword. You should be able to get the um, touch back. Yes. Yeah. Right. And then press triangle. Press R L one. L one. And then yeah. <laughs> That's the fast way to do it. In the first months, several months of this game was out, nobody knew how to do that. And then somebody was like, hey, uh, for all you guys have been scrolling away. <laughs> I'm sure the hot key is out there. Right? Oh my god. Thanks. So the blacksmith in my glory is with this giant ogre slave dude. Well, I remember him being a thing. I don't remember which way to go. Yeah, I was there. Right there. Battle card. Well, what was up? Where so have you been really hiding? Or to the for dead. Day. No matter, it's all the same. They act as a fucker. You still like to press down. Back already. No matter. Lay out your arms. Overall, it looks like you know your your previous attack was 136, and your 143, so it's almost 10 more. The 10, the last number, the 27 to 30. Fun that is, you just stand up with the damage and it was given. I think that's the initial stomp thing with, hmm. for that attack specifically. Well, I'm doing. Yeah. So you're a little short for the next upgrade. I think it's back good at after the war. So this. Maybe some smart armor crates. Armament could only have one skill. Blah blah blah. Okay. This is the weapon art? Yeah. And so select it. So yours has does it have this already? I don't know if yours has a weapon. So you can add one. Okay. So it looks like it doesn't cost me to add one. Forge sword's quality big sword one. I can actually back out and make sure that it doesn't have a one. I'm so confused. I think you do have one. I have this on. Back out. Yeah, select it. And press square. So you do have stamp upward cut. So you have to press L2 and then I think you have to press R1 to execute the upward cut. So, I mean, it's not bad, but you could use a different weapon. And you can also make it a strength uh, specific weapon art or a deck specific weapon art. There are also weapon arts that are not stat specific. Or it might be like flood damage specific, uh, gravity magic specific. There's all sorts of weapons. Um, some aren't really even attacks. They might be like a, an evade, a special weapon art evade. So, there's a lot to unpack there, but you could either try this one out for a while, or you could just switch out for the. the you had a cool weapon art to put on it if you wanted to try it. It looked like a, a fast, wild one that I actually enjoy. And uh, very cool. It's okay. Yeah, that, that wild strike. How much do you believe it? Determination? What is this one? Um, maybe it's selected it to the description. Press square. Interesting. Uh, nope. 
Oh, so detail R3. Oh, maybe we just change the the format so a little bit. Well, this. So making it heavy, I think, makes it a strength. See you how your strength stat goes from a D to a C. So it does give you a stat bonus. So if you decide to go for a strength, though, the benefit So that that actually kind of just helps you out. What? You could do a final pull. And down. That was half the one that's going to go for it. For the weapon arts, do you use your mana bar? Or a skill bar, as they call it. Mm -hmm. If you have a skill poke, it would punch it. But if you do end up using it, you might allocate more skill poke. If you kill fast enough, you do sometimes get What triggers that again? Killing multiple enemies. No, no, no. no. That's the weapon art. In a minute. Looks like episode three of Elden Ring. We'll be back for more. Stay tuned.